This anatomical diagram shows you the cross section of the leg and the ankle and you know the key thing I think here is that this diagram has been orientated so that it's easy for you to picture in your mind where these structures are and orientate yourself. I think too many of the diagrams that show cross sections do not clearly demonstrate to you what is, what is anterior, what is posterior, what is medial, what is lateral and where everything is in relation to everything else. So I think it's helpful to picture your own uh, right leg. You can do it now and of course mindful of the fact that there's symmetry and that your left leg will correspond symmetrically to everything we're talking about here. Um, the labels obviously give you all the detail, but let's just think about the overview. You've got your tibia, the larger bone of the two, placed anterior and slightly medially. You can feel it in your own leg, of course. And then the fibula, the smaller one, uh, laterally. And then the extension here. So here's a bit of tibia here. And here's the fibula here. So we've got medial and lateral, malleoli, and then the talus in between the two. Um, and then in the leg, this is important, there are four compartments. The anterior in blue, the perineal or lateral compartment in green, and then the deep and the superficial posterior compartments here, both purple, the deep one dark purple, the superficial one light purple. And you know, all these key structures that you will be familiar with, the Achilles tendon, which is the continuation of the, uh, the superficial compartment muscles, the soleus underneath, and then the gastric nemus, the medial and the lateral heads, the more superficial. Just note here, there's interesting thing, plantaris, somewhat redundant tendon in humans, often used for tendon transfers, present here, just medial to the Achilles tendon. That's where it can be located if it's needed surgically. Surgeons will use that landmark. Um, the continuation of the deep posterior compartment. Tom, Dick, and very naughty Harry. Tibialis posterior. D stands for flexor digitorum longus. And then H, Harry. Tom, Dick, and very naughty. So you can write A, V, N, the arteriovenous. Uh, the neurovascular bundle there and think about it symmetrically look T D and H symmetrically great saphenous vein present here present here runs down medial side of the leg and then onto the dorsum of the foot and then these anterior tendons so again, there are mnemonics. I'm not a big fan of mnemonics, but if you combine it with the picture, I think that will genuinely help you. Um, some people remember Tom hates Dick. T, tibialis anterior now, coming from here. Here it is, tibialis anterior. H, hates, here it is, tibialis, uh, big pun extensor, hallucis longus, H. T, H, and then this, digitorum, there's four of them here, the extensor digitorum longus tendons coming from here. So T, H, D. And then in green, what are these? Perineus brevis, anterior, and longus. These are the tendons which uh, evert the foot. They evert the foot. And then you've got the neurovascular bundles and so on. So you can see the different structures. You've got the um, tibial nerve and the posterior tibial vessels. They're here again. You can see where exactly where you are. The superficial perineal nerve, which of course um, connects approximately with the deep perineal nerve to become the common perineal nerve. So deep and superficial and they connect and they become the common perineal nerve. Just a point to note, the deep perineal nerve, they both have a sensory contribution. The, the superficial one does the majority of the foot. This deep one does the web space. So that's useful when you're testing for the function of these nerves in patients who sustained injuries, for example. Um, anyway, look, that's an overview. Picture this. Try it, close your eyes, look at your own anatomy, picture the picture, and just 
see what you can recall because I genuinely feel that this type of visual aid can be hugely beneficial to help you and empower you and give you recall not only in the short term but the long term. Anyway, if you're a visual learner and you resonate with this, then please use it and let me know.